Hi, I'm Dr. Ron here. Today we're going to talk about stress and using devices and apps to actually get some biofeedback information. We all know stress is dangerous for us, and a lot of times we might feel stressed out, but other times actually stress might be more subtle. And there's some interesting things that you can use with your devices to actually detect whether you're under chronic high levels of stress. So I typically sometimes will check my pulse, and you can check your pulse one easy way. Go old-fashioned pulse right here by putting your finger on your neck. Or what you can do is you can use your device, your phone, to actually see how your pulse is. So one thing you can do is you can do the heart rate app. So basically what happens is when you click on the heart rate app, you put your finger on the lens, which is right next to the flash, and then you can look up on the screen, and you'll see that my heart rate's going to come up in a second. It's actually measuring the pulsations on my fingertip, and you can see that my heart rate is 77 beats per minute. Okay, so your resting heart rate, get a good sense of what your resting heart rate is. I know when I'm relaxed, I'm at like 57, 58. I'm talking right now and giving a presentation, so it's going to be higher. But if you know what your relaxed resting heart rate is, then you'll have a good sense of when you're under chronic stress. Another technology tool you can use for this is your wearable. And um, I'm wearing my Fitbit heart rate monitor and step monitor here. And right now it's synced up here, so you can look up on the screen and you can see that my heart rate's pretty similar. In the middle, it's 74 beats per minute, down to 73 now, okay? So that's pretty close to what it was um, on the finger pulse as well. So those are two ways to tell what your resting heart rate is, all right? Now, another tool you can use is something known as heart rate variability. And before I go to the screen, I wanna explain the concept to you. When your heart normally beats, okay, it doesn't just beat like a metronome. So let me show you with this keyboard what I mean. When your heart beats, let me turn this on here. Okay, so we typically think that our heart beats very regularly like this. But actually there is normal variability within your heart rate. There can be subtle gaps. It might be, and then slow gaps. I'm exaggerating this. We call that heart rate variability. So there's actually variation in the beat to beat between each heartbeat. That's actually a good thing. You want to have variety. You don't want your heart beating like a metronome. When you've got adequate heart rate variability, or HRV, that's a sign that your parasympathetic system is active, your relaxation response. Again, coming back to our phone, we can use some apps to detect this. So this is one app that I use called Stress Doctor. So again, I'm gonna push start here. I'm gonna put my finger over the lens, right next to the flash. I'm gonna push start here. And then you can look up on the screen and you'll start seeing my heart rate tracings. I'm gonna be quiet while I do this so we can get some tracings on the big gray part. So what you're seeing, those big waves, are the variations in my heartbeat, okay? So again, when you have good heart rate variability, you should be going from a low pulse rate, like 67, up to like the 90s. So those wave tracings should be like sine waves, nice and deep. Now that I'm talking, you can see that it's really shallow. But when it's ideal, you get nice big peaks and nice deep valleys. So when you breathe really slowly and actually use this tool, it'll measure your heart rate variability. And when it's optimal, you'll actually get these little yin-yang points, okay? You'll get little points and feedback that you're in the parasympathetic zone, which is your relaxation zone, okay? So that's HRV, heart rate variability. The app is Stress Doctor. One last tool I'm gonna show you is if you want more accurate information on heart rate variability or HRV, you can use this device right here. This is by a company called HeartMath. They have a standalone device, or you can get the iOS wire. This has got an ear clip, which is gonna measure my pulse width. And then I'm gonna push play to start my session. Put my finger on the, well, I don't have to put my finger on the pulse, it's on the ear clip. That's some music that I have programmed in. And that lotus flower in the middle is actually my cue to breathe in and out. Okay, so I'm gonna do this for a little bit, then I'll explain to you what the numbers mean. So the blue dot means I'm in a medium zone with my heart rate variability. I'm going to try to quiet down and get to the optimal green zone. Ooh, 
red means that I'm not in the optimal zone. So let me see if I can do this. It's tough to do while I'm presenting here, but I'm going to breathe slower. There you go. So you saw the green. I was able to actually hit the optimal breathing zone. That little background music was uh, kids' um, keyboard going off, by the way. I'm going to tap on my mood, which you can see on the screen. Super happy because I'm excited to talk to you guys. And then I got some score information up here, too. So these are great tools. Again, if you haven't been motivated to meditate and reduce stress on your own, these are some great technology tools you can um, use to help monitor your parasympathetic zone. Check out my blog postings as well, too, where I talk all about stress reduction. I'm Dr. Ron Sinha from South Asian Health Solution. Bye.